Hey guys, it is a dark, a nasty, rainy night tonight. I'm sure you guys can hear the rain and you know, <laughs> it's just one of those really bad nights. Um, anyways, I am in a parking lot where all of my restaurants are. Turn on Uber Eats got me a good offer for Popeyes, really low miles. One of those offers you wish you got more often. $12.43 for 2.9 miles. So I'm gonna pull into Popeyes, go get this order, get these wheels to move in. Hopefully this nasty, dark, cold, rainy weather will bring in some good offers tonight, but we are gonna find out. Last night was nothing but a ton of backwards offers, a ton of backwards offers. Um, and low pay of course because the pay is really low and the miles are high just ridiculous offers anyways we're gonna head over to popeyes get this order and get these wheels to move in come on out <laughs> thank you appreciate it <laughs> I'll take it for Sean K with Uber Eats. Okay, I'll start working on it right now. Thank you. Okay, Yona. Thank you. Okay, you too. All right, got to the order. There was less than a five minute wait. They are busy in there pumping out the orders. Customer is seven minutes, 2.9 miles. They are in a house and they did leave a note not to ring the doorbell. I've mentioned it many times, but for those new drivers, I get asked this question too once in a while. For those new drivers, I don't ring or knock unless specified in the notes from the customer to do so. So they say don't ring it. I don't ring it anyways, unless they tell me to do so. Anyways, we are on our way seven minutes. <laughs> All right, guys, I'm sure you guys seen and heard the reason probably why they didn't want me to ring the doorbell. That dog went crazy as soon as I pulled up into the driveway because their house is kind of set back from the road. So I kind of pulled up into their driveway and I was able to verify the address one by the mailbox um, at the end of their driveway and then confirmed it when I got up to their house. But that dog heard me from when I pulled up. I could hear the dog in my car and I go up there. It's going crazy at the door. Oh my gosh. Um, I guess, you know, it's, it's guarding its house, but, um, anybody else that's had an incident with the dog might be scared to drop off at that house. I love animals. I've never had a problem with them, but that thing was really going at the window. Um, and as soon as I left it calmed down, it, I, it didn't want me there. <laughs> Anyways, they grab their food as soon as I walked away all is good I'm gonna get out of this neighborhood and see what else we can line up all right guys got out of that neighborhood started getting a lot of low paying offers backwards offers taking my spin of course you start getting concerned you know you're getting offers they're coming in but they're just no good at what point would you take a low paying offer an offer that you typically wouldn't settle for would you settle for an offer um, when it's dead or slow or you're just getting a ton of crap orders of course it gets you to think and it's like should I take this for example here's an offer seven dollars and fifty cents the miles are 6.6 .6 miles. Now I like to stay within the $2 per mile ratio. Some of you like to stay within the $1.50 per mile ratio, but this, you know, I think about it and I'm like, you know what? It gets tempting, especially when you're seeing a lot of backwards offers, you know, just to stay busy, to, to keep your wills to move in and, you know, hoping that maybe you get a better offer on the next one. Would you guys settle and take a offer that you typically wouldn't because you're seeing a lot of bad offers? Let me know, but it gets you to thinking, you know, you get tempted, but then I've been driving for quite a while. I've tested all kinds of things and my thought on it is if I was to take this offer, accept it, go do the order, 
I'm more than likely going to miss out on an order that's reasonable for me. That's just my thoughts. You know, you do get tempted, but let me know your thoughts. Do you find yourself occasionally just taking one because you're tired of seeing these backwards offers? You just want to do an offer. Let me know. Um, of course, I declined it, um, but it gets you to thinking. So, let me know your guys' thoughts. Do you find yourself, you know, once in a while taking one or you, or do you just hold out? Do you park, read a book, or do you still continue taking a spin? What do you do when they're coming in back to back, bad backwards offers? Anyways, um, another bad offer that I got was $7, 8.2 miles. That's just a backwards offer. These are just a few of them, by the way. Um, I get a lot of them. Here's another one, $12.46. Sounds nice, but not for $12. 0.6 miles. Now those I wouldn't even think twice about. That's just going to take me way out of my zone. Um, the miles are just too high for the pay. Um, so held out as I usually do. Finally, finally got something reasonable. $6.02 for three miles, which falls within my $2 per mile ratio. So I'm heading here um, which I've actually never picked up from this. It's called Yummy Time, and it's a newer restaurant that's opened up, and I have seen it, but I guess I never paid attention to it, but it's newer, um, so it'll be my first time picking up from here. But I'm pulling in, and an add-on comes in $9.06 for 2.7 additional miles, which works out perfect, and it kind of goes back to what I was saying. If I would have accepted an offer that I typically wouldn't accept, I would have missed out on these two offers, but let's let me know your guys' thoughts. What do you guys do in those situations? But we're going to go in there, check on this order. I'm not even sure what kind of food this is, but I guess we're going to find out and uh, hopefully get these wheels back to moving. Hi, uh, picking up an order for JM with Uber Eats. Oh, perfect. Thank you very much. All right, order was ready, which is awesome. Next pickup is Pizza Hut. Now I'm looking at this Pizza Hut location. This is one that it never seems to have it together, at least what I've picked up from them in the past. There's usually a wait, sometimes a long wait. I am hoping that that is not the case tonight. We're going to go check in, um, but I haven't had too good of an experience at this Pizza Hut they just don't seem to have it together. I hope things have changed. We're gonna go check it out. Four minutes, 1.1 miles to the Pizza Hut. Hi, uh, picking up for Alicia. Alicia. Uh, Let me check on that too. Thank you. Awesome, thank you so much. Yeah, have a good night. You too. All right, guys, I take it back. The Pizza Hut that I was thinking of was another location, um, not this location. I've actually always had a good experience at this location. Order is usually ready or ready within a reasonable time, which it was ready, so that is awesome. Um, first drop off is that Yummy Time, that new restaurant, four minutes, 1.3 miles. Now it is in an apartment. Um, I'm not sure which apartment complex it is, but uh, regardless, we're gonna go get it dropped off. We're on our way. Right, super easy drop off, except it is dark back here. Um, had to use the old handy dandy flashlight. This tiny little thing is super powerful, even though it, it looks super small. It is a must have in these dark times. If you're looking for a nice high powered flashlight for these dark nights, the link will be down in the description. It saves me every single time. Uh, next customer is a house and they left notes as well. Do not knock or ring doorbell. Thank you. Um, and they are six minutes, 2.3 miles. We are on our way. Hi, 
Hi there. Hello. How's it going? Uh, good. Oh. <laughs> no, you're good. I, as you're good. I have my own critter, so I know. Just protecting the land. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Have a good night. Bye. -bye. All right, guys, another smooth drop off. So I pull up to this house and I see the customer standing in their living room window. Usually like they'll disappear when they see you. Um, but he came to the door, was waiting for me, handed him the pizza and some cinnamon roll things that they got as well, probably their dessert. So I'm sure he was hungry, happy to have his food. Of course, the dog was barking. That's probably why they didn't want me to ring or knock, um, but they had the dog behind a gate. So I'm not worried about the dog. I have my own critters. Um, as long as they're a friendly dog so all is well um tonight has been just a typical night you have your bad backwards offers that you just gotta decline and then you have your reasonable offers that you have to hold out for just a typical night finally the rain kind of stopped i'm sure it'll start up but it's just one of those dark cold nasty nights uh, but not horribly bad for you know starting off with the offers that i've gotten i'm gonna get out of this neighborhood see what else i can line up but always so much appreciate you guys riding along with me as always and of course if you did enjoy the ride along do give the video a like consider subscribing if you haven't already and i'll be seeing you guys on the next one bye guys